Hello my beautiful people and welcome to my channel. In this space I'm going to be sharing with you monthly general tarot readings as well as my TikTok lives and I'll also be sharing with you essential oil education and excitingly my podcast interviews for my podcast. I'm Kitty O'Brien and thank you so much for joining me here. So for the best free online tarot readings and for the most accurate tarot readings hit that little bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video and the subscribe button. Hey my beautiful peeps, I'm back with a general love reading. Sorry, general tarot reading, and it's gonna be a romance one. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, we love the Queen of Pentacles. You can see her robe is all about passion and desire, and the green represents abundance, and then obviously the coin represents people, places, and thing. You've got the bunny as well, which represents fertility, and the um, rose, I was going to say grapevines. The roses growing around the edge represent long-lasting, like something that's long-lasting. Um, the Queen of... keep shuffling my hair. The Queen of Pentacles is just such a wonderful card, and I feel she represents you. And let's find the man. No, we're not finding the man. I think you're single. You're single. <laughs> you're definitely single. You're like me. Um, I'm also a queen of pentacles. I'm a Capricorn, so my element is the element of earth. And yes, I have been through many battles, if, if any of you can resonate, with a seven of wands. So this is also fighting unseen enemies, and I completely resonate with that because my unseen enemies can be like anxiety. Um, I did get diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder when I fled domestic violence, so I had a lot of unseen enemies living in constant like hypervigilant mode um anyway i'm all healed now i'm all better but my god has been a transformative experience with death okay so i've really had to step into the next best version of myself but in the death card you can see the sun which is the most positive card in the whole entire deck so this transformation is literally on to better things now my lovelies for you i really feel like you're single you you're really getting your shit together as well. And you're learning how to become more and more grounded. And I think from past experiences, you're now, you're recognizing what those personal boundaries are, what healthy relationships are, what the red flags are. You still have some unseen enemies. And this could be like loneliness as well. Just really debating, like, should you let some of your guard down? Or should you, um, um, should you lessen your expectations by just a little bit? Like, really, um, I really feel like saying, uh, you you feel like you're never going to meet anybody who's aligned with you because your expectations are so high. Keep them that high. Keep them that high. Do not lessen your expectations. Don't, don't you know, you're worth it. You're worth it. So really um, put yourself forward to finding that soulmate. Um Oh my goodness, the butterfly, right on the bottom of the deck. And the butterfly really represents the, the death card. So it's like, you know, going on to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth, okay? So keep doing that and tell the universe what you want. And I really, I challenge you to get a list of paper and write down the top 50 things that you want your next person to be, okay? So like the divine masculine, or maybe you want them well, who doesn't want the Divine Masculine, so, you know, um, you want to feel like you could melt in their arms, you get all giddy and excited when you see them, you get the butterflies in your tummy, they sort of just turn up with a bunch of flowers, I like potted flowers, because I like to plant them in the garden, but, like, doing the little things, like, coming, just, just appearing, like, knocking on the door and saying, hey, I thought I'd swing by, and I've got takeaway, and I got a bottle of wine, or alcohol-free wine, whatever floats your boat, and just really treating you like that queen, and, and, you know, making you breakfast first thing in the morning, like, but, like, someone who's stable, someone who's grounded, someone who's secure, someone who, 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 um, has authenticity, someone who, who's gonna say they're gonna do something, and they do it, you know, someone's honor and truth, um, Someone who honours their value and truth, you know? So write down, write down that list. Oh my God, this keeps getting better and better. Soulmates. I'm not having to do many shuffles today. Soulmates, soulmates, soulmates. You are going to 
I really feel like your soulmate's coming in. Um, I've been given a time for when I'm going to meet my soulmate next year. I'm super excited. I used my dowsing words the other day and I actually started crying. I was so happy. Um, so let's get some more cards. Okay. All right. This is interesting. Drowning in the thoughts of us. I can't get over you. I keep thinking of all the little things. All right. This is the person from the past. This is the person of the past. They can't, they can't let go. They're like leeching onto you. It's like, you probably get frustrated that they just can't move on with their life. They're a bit stalkerish, you know, not, um, yeah, they just really can't get over you. Um, and they're not sure how they feel right now either. They, it's like they want you back, but they hate you at the same time. Um, mm, oh, okay. I was going to pick the Doreen Virtue cards, but, oh, hello. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Don't go back to any exes. We don't want rebound. That's not good. We want you to move forward. You, you, I want you to be that butterfly. I want you to find that soulmate relationship. And then, ta-da, you get the treasure chest. So an unseen windfall of new abundance comes your ways. And then it's playtime, which is exactly what, how the divine masculine makes the divine feminine feel. Okay, this is with the dolphins. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations. So whilst you're calling in your soulmate, have some fun as well and blessed change a major life change brings you great blessings and that is finding your soulmate so let's look what what plant is going to help us okay and i've already picked the card so i already know what it is because i have to look it up in my little book and the plant well i should say the fruit you need in your life is the lemon Beautiful, beautiful, divine lemon. Lemon is purifying, it's cleansing, it's just, it's divine. Shine so brightly that others have no choice but to follow you. All right, so when you shine brightly, that's how you attract your soulmate in, and you're going to do that through playtime. Okay, so you have the ability to overcome a current challenge. Do not let self-limiting beliefs hold you back. There is no need to hold on to pain or to punish yourself. Mm-hmm. You are brilliant. You are beautiful. You are sexy. You have only to work on loving yourself. Take your rightful place in the world and shine. Let your wings unfold. <laughs> Where have we got the butterfly card? Yeah, let your wings unfold. Um, find something fun you can do today. Yes, yes, yes. And this is all about the solar plexus chakra, which is about personal power, radiance, and stability. <gasps> the astrological ruler is the sun, and the sun is the divine masculine. Oh my goodness, I love it, I love it, I love it. And it's about the house of Leo, as so we're talking about leisure, children, affection, romance, play, and taking action. And of course, it's the element of fire, so we're looking at transformation. Ta-da! And passion, action, and vitality. They should be words on your list when you write your 50 points down. Oh my goodness, lovelies. I'm so excited for you. Mm -mm -mm. I wish you all the best in finding your soulmate and I will see you soon. Mwah!